Hello YouTube. Today I wanted to give you a quick video demo of this app I use called File Expert. It's um, slightly different to all the other file experts that are out there like Astro, like Root Explorer, like ES File Manager I think it's called. There are plenty of them in the, in the Android market but um, I really like this one because it's got a unique uh, UI and uh, some very unique features. Um, so here it is, it's called File Expert, it's free on the Android market and this is the UI you get presented with. You, uh, let me start, you can have different themes, so this is the original theme. Let me just go back in and give you the, the overview. This is the original theme here and um, on, the, uh, on the home tab you get presented with my files, my documents, my apps, my cloud, network, share my content, favorite and utilities. Utilities, you just saw, saw me in there, you can change your settings, you have loads of and loads and loads of different settings in there, I'm not going to go through every single one, but um, you can use it as a root explorer as well, which is quite nice, saves you from having to explore, uh, install sorry, different um, root, uh, file explorers, there at the bottom you can see root explorer, and you can also turn the notification icon off, obviously for the root explorer it goes without saying you have to have root. It allows you here to um, show hidden directories, thumbnails, APK icons, things like that. But um, what these, what the other things you can do with this is that it shows you first of all my apps, and you can back them up, and you can go straight into um, the market if you click get new apps. And then sorry, and on the bottom here you can see it says back up, and you can batch uninstall. You can select all, it gives you all those choices at the bottom, which is a really nice feature. You also have um, buttons on the on the screen, which I suppose limit the space a little bit, but um, they're quite handy to use because it stops you from having to dig in through loads and loads of menus. Then the next thing you get is my documents, and here it actually pulls all the documents, a certain documents you have on your phone, and uh, brings them into this. So if you want to say if you're looking for APKs and you don't know where they are, whether they're in this folder or in that folder, you just click APK packages, it searches through the whole phone and it brings them up here. I've got a couple downloaded. This is actually the task I've pulled from my other phone because it doesn't for some reason the market's not compatible with Tasker. So this is not Warriors I actually have purchased it. I just can't get it installed. Uh, through the market, it gives me some form of error on that ice cream sandwich. Maybe it's just not compatible. Um, it gives you images as well if you want it to. Videos, music, documents, the same compressed packages, which are zips. And it gives you here dot zips, which is a nice feature to have. Then it obviously I've been through my apps. Yeah, my files. It just allows you to go into internal storage or into SD card. And then my cloud. And my cloud allows you to add Dropbox. You can see here Dropbox, Canbox, Cynia V Disk, and Box.net accounts and keep them uh, synchronized with your phone. Stops you from having to go again into different apps and use different various like Dropbox apps or Box.net apps. If you want it to, you can just go through this app. Then you can share your content here so you can start to share via web. This is probably more um, handy to people that actually use it. I have no idea what the most of these are. I know share via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but FTP and via web doesn't really mean anything to me. <clears throat> you can have your favorites down the bottom here. And um, as I was showing you earlier as well, in utilities, it gives you different themes. I have it on ghost black. I like that the most. File expert. And there, this is the theme I have, sort of this black with a sort of marble background. I don't know if that's very visible. But, and what this also allows you to do is it allows you to copy and paste multiple apps, but also you can have different home screens at the top. So if you, let's say, in My Apps on this one, and you go over here to My Files, it's, it allows you to just manage a couple of directories at the same time. There you can see one and two. I can switch between those two directories. If I let's say wanted to un uninstall something, so I don't know, don't have any apps right now. I don't want to uninstall, but um, yeah. If you wanted to uninstall, actually I'll uninstall this theme here. Just click uninstall, click OK, and just use the procedure, and that's it. We're back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any queries, comments, please leave them down below, and um, I hope to see you in my next video.